Hey guys, so welcome to the world of vectors. I have got you all the vectors that are important from SPM with the images and the points of identification and the diseases that they cause. So let's get started with the mosquitoes guys. Don't try to take screenshots in between. I'll provide you with this PDF on the Telegram channel. So the Telegram channel links are provided in the description below. If you are new to this channel, please go check the description once and you'll get to know the Telegram channel and all the playlists that we have done previously. So four types of mosquitoes are Anopheles, Aedes, Culex and Mansoni. The images that I've drawn here, the line diagrams are regarding the position of the mosquitoes when they stand on a surface. So Anopheles is a sophisticated mosquito. It stands at an inclination like 45 degrees inclination. Whereas Aedes and Culex both have this hunchback or parallel to the surface appearance like this is this is the position right whereas anopheles is straight like this that is the position written over there anopheles is otherwise called a sophisticated mosquito whereas aedes is tiger mosquito because of the stripes on the body so you can look at here guys you have stripes on the body in aedes mosquito it is called as tiger mosquito coming to the culex mosquito it is called as nuisance mosquito and manzoni does not have any such name Identification of Anopheles is that it has spotted wings. Anopheles mosquito has this spotted wings and it is at an angle whereas Aedes has striped body. Coming to the Mansoni mosquito, you have to uh, identify it with its long legs guys. So Mansoni has long legs so that is the identification point. Coming to the storage or uh, the place at which these mosquitoes breed, sophisticated meaning uh, high fire, right? So for clean water. Whereas tiger mosquito, Aedes mosquito is in artificial storage. Culex is nuisance, so dirty. Dirty is something nuisance, dirty water and nuisance. Since it is, uh, this is called as nuisance because it makes this buzzing sound. So that's why Culex mosquito is called as nuisance mosquito. And Mansoni, uh, it lives in the roots of the aqua aqueous plants. And the identification points as already discussed, spotted wings, stripes on the body, buzzing sounds and B for B. Remember like buzzing sound and big wings is for Q legs and long legs is for Mansoni. So a man has long legs, right? So remember like that Mansoni is long legs. Now coming to one important point guys that is about siphon tube. So siphon tube is present in larva stage. Okay. So, siphon tube is present in Aedes mosquito whereas it is absent in uh, Anopheles mosquito. Since this siphon tube, this is called a siphon tube, since this is absent, Anopheles larva lies parallel to the surface of the water. Whereas Aedes lies at an angle, the larva lies at an angle. See, I have got the images also for you. There is no siphon tube here. First of all, like, let us look what a siphon tube looks like. See, this is a siphon tube guys. This is of Aedes or Culex, like whatever, Mansoni. Rest 3 has a siphon tube. This is siphon tube. Whereas Anopheles mosquitoes larva does not have any siphon tube as such. So that is why the larva lies parallel to the surface. Whereas the adult lies at an inclination. You have to remember that point that larva lies parallel. Whereas adult lies at an inclination. This completes the identification points and uh, angle at which they lay on uh, they lie down on the surface and regarding the siphon tubes coming to the x single eggs are laid by two a's guys like a is the first letter like first meaning single so anopheles and aedes lays eggs single whereas culex lays in clusters and mansoni in a star shaped so culex in cluster and mansoni in a star shaped format Coming to the eggs of Anopheles, they are boat shaped with the lateral floats, whereas Aedes, that is tiger mosquito, it is cigar shaped. So I have drawn stripes on this uh, cigar so that you can remember stripes on the body and this cigar is for Aedes, tiger mosquito. Culex is cluster and Mansoni is star shaped. Coming to the diseases that are caused, for Anopheles it is malaria and filaria, simple, only two, malaria and filaria. Coming to the Aedes, remember it like uh, when we go into the danger zone, like when we go into a zone where there is tiger, we cry, right? So danger zone, we cry. Danger is dengue, Z is Zika, C is chikungunya, R is rift valley fever and 
Why is yellow fever? So this completes the diseases caused by Aedes mosquito. And coming to nuisance, that is Culex. It is Bancroftian filariasis. So I have highlighted the C there. So that is Bancroft Bancroftian filariasis. And Japanese encephalitis and West Nile fever. Because there is uh, another filariasis that is Bruggian and Malayan filariasis. This is by man. So remember like a Malayali man having brew with long legs. So all these are regarding Mansoni and he is a star. So a Malayali hero or star is having a brew. He is having long legs is all about Mansoni. Coming to the flight range of these mosquito guys. So everything is 11 kilometers. Culex, Mansoni and Anopheles. Only Aedes mosquito is uh, 100 meters. This is an important question. Aedes mosquito is 100 meters is an important question. That is the flight range of that mosquito. This completes the four kinds of mosquitoes. Now let us uh, talk about sand fly. So sand fly you have to uh, identify by hairy wings guys. So you can... Uh, See, I have zoomed it out. You have this hairy wings, right? So, sand fly has hairy wings. It's called as phlebotomus and it causes orea fever and oriental sore and kala azar. So, that is regarding sand fly. This video has nothing to explain. I'm just reading it out for you so that you'll have revision kind of thing. Coming to louse. So, the mnemonic for louse is pert, guys. P is pediculosis. E is epidemic typhus. So, remember like E, P, in this direction do not confuse it with endemic typhus endemic is by fleas okay so don't confuse epidemic or endemic because pe has ep in the reverse order so epidemic typhus p is pediculosis and r is relapsing fever re and tre is trench fever so you have everything in this part only like pe tre and epidemic and relapsing this is not a single letter mnemonic, so you have combinations here. Pediculosis, epidemic typhus, relapsing fever and these three together forms trench fever. That is regarding louse guys. So this is how you have to identify louse. This is the image. You just have this PDF saved and revise it in your uh, last month of your examination so that uh, you can identify images faster. Coming to flea guys. So the mnemonic for flea goes like chota beam. Okay, this is the flea. This is the rat flea, image of rat flea, which is called like Xenopsella. So chota beam here is CH, is for chigorosis. B is bubonic plague. H is Hymenolopis nana or diminuta. And EN is endemic. So epidemic is completed in louse, right? Epidemic is come over here. Here comes endemic or murine typhus. So chota beam mnemonic is for rat flea. Coming to other kind of flea that is called a sand flea. Sand flea causes two diseases that is jigger and tungiasis. So this is the image of the sand flea that I have got for you. This completes the flea, louse, sand fly. And here one more uh, black fly is there that is simulum. It causes onchocerciasis and this is the image. Coming to ticks guys. So two kinds of ticks are there. One is hard tick and the other is soft tick. So for heart tick, capitulum is visible. So uh, look at here guys, this is the capitulum. That is visible in heart tick. Whereas you can look, uh, there is no capitulum in soft tick, like you cannot see. And coming to scutum, scutum is present in heart tick, whereas absent in soft tick. And nymphal stage, heart tick has only one, whereas soft tick, S for five. It has five, nymphal stage meaning larval stages. S for five is soft tick. Coming to the diseases caused or the Ticks are vectors for these following diseases. Uh, for heart tick, it is T and V. Tularemia, tick typhus and tick paralysis. V is viral hemorrhagic fever and viral encephalitis. So all this is for heart tick. And one, fam uh, one, one more tick name that is Ixodis tick is also an example of heart tick guys. It causes lab, Lyme's disease, anaplasmosis and babesiosis. So Ixodis tick is an example of heart tick which causes lab. Lyme's disease, anaplasmosis and babesiosis. Coming to soft tick, the mnemonic is QRS. S is soft tick and Q is Q fever and R is relapsing fever. That is for soft tick. And uh, coming to sarcoptis KB, this is the uh, 
image of uh, sarcoptic scabies and it causes scabies disease. So look at the images here. This is hard tick, soft tick. Coming to trypanosoma bruzi and cruzi. So trypanosoma bruzi is for CC. This is CC fly. This is the vector for trypanosoma bruzi. It causes sleeping sickness. So CC is sleeping sickness. Whereas trypanosoma cruzi is about C. That is Chagas disease. It is caused by redwood bug. So cruzi is by redwood bug, Chagas disease and bruzi is CC fly. That is sleeping sickness. And here you have mite. This is this is a trombiculid mite and uh, it causes scrub typhus caused by rickettsia susugamishi. This completes the important vectors with the images guys. Uh, this is actually supposed to be just red. Coming to one more important uh, screenshot here which is regarding uh, cycles of the vectors like propagative, cyclopropagative developmental cyclodevelopmental transoviral and transstadial so remember like propagative means you are propagating only in numbers like multiplying in the numbers there is no change in the form a form change in the form occurs when it goes in a cycle right so one form to other form we draw in a cycle so change in the form is the word cycle that is cyclo so whenever cyclo is there there occurs change in the form and propagative meaning in number that is okay then cyclo developmental meaning there is no word propagative here so that means there is no number not multiplication only developmental change transovarial is from parent to progeny and transstadial is remember like stay is for stay transstadial is stays with the vector from one stage of its life cycle to the next now coming to the examples guys propagative is plague bacilli in rat fleas Whereas cyclodevelopmental is malarial parasite in mosquitoes, cyclopropagative is and cyclodevelopmental is microphylaria. Remember cyclodevelopmental like, see remember C, D, E and F, cyclodevelopmental, C for cyclo, D, E for developmental, E is filaria related. So you have malaria left right, so malaria you have to put in cyclopropagative. So my, malaria is for cyclopropagative and filaria is for C, D, E and F that is cyclodevelopmental. Coming to transovarial, transovarial it is rickettsia rickettsia in ticks and transstadial is Borrelia burgdorferi. So when you stay or sit silent or sit at one place you get bored right. So remember like stay is for bored that is Borrelia. So almost you have got mnemonics for everything right, stadial, staying, bore and cyclodevelopmental C, D, E, F, cyclopropagative is leftover one that is malaria and P for P that is propagative is plague. So left, less, uh, the thing that is leftover is uh, transovarial so we have to put rickettsia rickettsia for transovarial. This completes uh, this PDF guys. So once go through it, solve questions from this topic and you will be done with this. Thank you. Bye bye. And if you like this kind of content, please do uh, support me by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel and also share these videos among your friends. It might help them too.